Hi folks, uh, welcome live to the final of the current uh, Champions of Vestros edition. I believe this is uh, summer 2024, apologies if I got that wrong. Uh, should be, yes. Uh, and, um, well, we have uh, two excellent uh, finalists. We have Super Duck, who is at the moment probably the best player in the world. At least has a giant uh, lead in pavilion points. Okay, maybe... Um, if we uh, take out the online stuff, it's a bit closer. Uh, and he's been winning everything. He's um, not sure how many of these uh, Champions of Esteros he's done yet. Uh, I, I don't think he has a, a winning one yet. But, uh, I'd have to check. And uh, we have uh, Rupert on the other side, also uh, on fire recently. Uh, played, uh, captained even uh, the Lannister team in the 8th Regents tournament and got very close to winning. And for him, also, uh, like Mates last year, I think Mates is the defending champion, right? Uh, it's It would be the first official title, so um, quite an important game. And uh, let's see if he plays Lannister. He mostly has been playing Lannister, but with some exceptions in this one. So I will see if they have started. Okay, perfect timing. We joined this game. Uh, do I need to? Oh no, okay. It's just a uh, um, attachment coming on, so card size is fine. Joining it on setup and it's a Stark Filthy for Super Duck and it's uh, Lanny Crossing for uh, um, Rupert, so this could go quickly. I will now join also uh, one of the voice channels, so the one on the friendly open uh, Server, if anyone wants to join me on a commentary, very welcome to. Well, Starkfield is starting with uh, Recon, who can uh, be annoying if air is played on the other side, and Caitlyn is here. She can stop a little bit um, some triggers, but uh, Lenny Crossing also can play without triggers. If, for instance, imagine King in the North is revealed, uh, Jamie and Cersei. Well, Cersei is a queen, so that uh, that helps additionally. But uh, non-kneelers, uh, Castery Rock, uh, stuff that just happens in the events, uh, you are quite fine with that. Okay, Caitlyn stops uh, reactions like superior claim. She's not going to block uh, Hear Me Roar and never bet against my family and stuff like that. Uh, it's Jamie and Myrcella on the other side. So also kind of perfect, but needs another. Well, there he is, another big one. And now they can for sure do three challenges between them and maybe the one gold is for something okay boosts time in strength but uh, uh, also I think might have left one of the reducers just to be sure to make all the challenges if uh, there was nothing to spend the one gold on actually hmm What's going on? Have we had uh, the last, uh, the last uh, chapter pack announced from Mists of Memory? Well, good timing, but uh, let's watch the game first. Well, Super Duck needs a lot of defense to make sure things don't go too quickly. Well, actually, stopping crossing triggers is um, against Lenny crossing. It's kind of a lost cause. Kind of lost cause. Someone joining us. Hello. Hello to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lost cause, right? To try to stop crossing, actually. It's going to treachery yeah. Arya's uh, dupe to stop her getting military icon. That will free up the challenge. Apparently, um... I mean, it can go really fast, and I think it could be a problem for for Stark Fealty because it is fast but not so fast and um, I think good chances if you get a good Morghulis against them, right? So you can find some dupes with Bear Island Scouts. You have, I think that's a bodyguard on Caitlyn, right? Yes, so maybe cancelling like, uh, Arya like that uh, yeah. will do good. Although both players, I mean, can, uh, they are capable of playing that round to air to the Iron Throne to find the big bodies. Okay, so power is the one that's going to be wasted, which means probably not going to be a 
superior claim uh, in hand at this point. Although power is the one he where might... you can defend the most as Stark, so maybe even not worth trying even if he did have it. You might defend to not get um, Marcelo to hand, but yeah. Yeah, probably wasn't going to use her anyway, because, uh, I mean, she well, would escape, yeah. but uh, there isn't going to be a, probably a, an additional intrigue challenge. Well, you could if you really wanted to. I mean, you have James who's not going near. And then they both individually do it. Yeah, you, you could in theory do it. But I think it's not so good. Superior claim is not happening. So if you kneel out everyone, then Stark will um, get more power at the end of the round than Lenny has. Yeah. And like Francisco says in the chat. I think if you play air, if both play air next round, um, Stark can just trade Arya now that she's not here with the dupe and um, use Recon to stop. Yeah. To stop uh, air from Lenny. Uh, Lenny crossing does play air, right? Um, so they they play yeah, air in the yeah. deck and they play usually some kind of reset. We've seen. Morgulis and we've seen Madkin's command lately, and you win or you die is playable because they don't have restrictions. Uh, but then there's other plots that uh, I usually don't even see because they just beat me. Which I don't know exactly right now what they would even be. Do they play Brand the Builder? Maybe Winter Festival. Lenny or Stark? Lenny. I think they play Brand the Builder. I think uh, Winter Festival probably. The thing is, they're stuck with air. That's uh, that's a dead plot now, so they can't reveal it. That's um, well, bodyguard goes, so clearly not going to Morgulis. Interesting. Wants to keep a wide board instead and not claim anything. Hmm. It is interesting. Jamie doesn't defend. It looks like would prefer take no to take dominance. Get one additional power. Any tricks? Still haven't seen. I never bet. Well, I wouldn't probably spend it just to get a defender in for one challenge. So Stark will finish ahead anyway. Yeah, I mean, that's a good round. Uh, I wasn't wanted to say, I think, um, I don't know if it was. Uh, Richard, um, Rupert or Henry, but I think in eight regions I saw that Mad King's command was the reset, which is good reset against Stark, I think. Mm -hmm. I kind of suspect that Martin, in uh, not sure if in crossing, but in this type of deck that plays uh, the big non healers and I mean, uh, that he plays both Mur Murgulis and uh, Mad King's command. So it is Winter Festival for uh, Lenny to try to get power, and it's uh, air for Stark, and I think Recon will stay. So Arya goes for Fast Eddie, right? <laughs> yeah, or Rob. Why, man? And Recon doesn't stay, unless there's uh, another one in hand. Why, man draws from that as well. Well, why, man's good. His stand is good, he can defend more, attack more, but he's not a Usually big renowned body. Yeah, better with Rob, I mean, uh, against this type of deck where you need to go really fast, um, I think there, fast lady would be optimal. There could be Rob, and then if you can trigger on demand, which you can. Mm. But yeah, Stace is the only source of renown, apart from the hypothetical Robs, of course. Yeah, and if Cersei is in hand, um, Cersei is a problem for um, Stark. I mean, one challenge you can block with um, Cat. So as long as it's one challenge, it's not so bad. But if you can do like two or three challenges, like we see with um, with uh, Lenny being able to do, that's problematic, I think.
Oh, I don't have chat showing up on, on screen in this one, sorry. I don't know why. I can't, I, it's a different uh, setting for the Champions of Estras, so I would need to copy it over. Hmm. You can try and I'll tell you if it looks good. <laughs> well. Why am I gonna rob the best of friends? And yeah. hunt Marshall, which means he's going to either spend the rest of the gold or wants a really big Tywin. <laughs> well, Tywin's even bigger if you don't marshal the hound. <laughs> Until you spend the ambush gold, of course. No Cersei? I guess so. Another treachery. Another treachery? On what? Well, technically on Rob, but um, I don't think that will work. Um, because he has Caitlyn, so as long as he can put Caitlyn into the challenge, treachery is not gonna help you. Well, now we are and potentially in a situation where Morghulis could be played. Marcella yeah, would need to attack, so if you can, you probably put Caitlyn in the challenge where Marcella is participating. Hound can escape, and is duped anyway. And Braun can save one, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think that works. Then he survives, uh, Stark survives with Daisy. Maybe he has another air as well to mess up your plans. What's the Maiden situation? Maiden for uh, Lenny uh, and for Stark, both, okay. As well, yeah. But I think uh, actually, from, like, I saw Super Dark play um, Stark Fealty sometime and I think it doesn't have two airs. Like, maybe. Um, well, it's going to try to get rid of the last hand if it's a jump event. It needs to just be played. Or defended fully, of course. Yeah, Sansa is just about big enough to be annoying if you really want to defend the hand. And you do. Mircella can trigger on defense. She does, so we can do an additional intrigue, but there's no non kneeler to do it now. But if the plan was just to escape with her, it certainly worked. Surprised the bodyguard was taken, given there was climb soak available. Yeah. I think that might be a mistake because now it's, I mean, a good position, honestly. I, I think with everything that's been played out to play Morghulis next round, Marcella escaping and Hound um, Dupe and Brown there. So, I mean, Look, it is still a little risky because if you play um, if you play uh, Time for Wolves into Graven, that is going to cancel Brown and then Brown. Um, I mean, how it stays alone, that's uh, not so good position against the But Daisy. can Sweet Robin cancel Time for Wolves? I think he can, right? He reveal it. Oh, yeah, maybe. Then you probably just trigger Morghulis, go first, trigger Morghulis, then find Summer. 
Sweet Robin is another character that can be aired very nicely, of course. Now the Tricon is gone. So defense military as well, trying to stop the renown on the two guys that uh, can do two challenges. But he spent... Okay, clearly he's not going to have any attacking ambitions, ambitions and not going to try to do uh, crossing here. What happens with the Hound if he wins? Well, that did he mean to say with the duplicate? Interesting. Looks like he did. I mean, it is kind of expensive to keep him on the board. You have to discard cards from hand. That's depending on what's in hand. That's potentially a little bit. Yeah, but you could you could take him to hand and discard the dupe. Yeah, which is what he did, right? No, it's still in play. Saved. Saved from going back to hand. Oh, yeah. If you want. So maybe no more ghoulies. I mean, Mad King seems more likely from what I've seen in Eight Regions. So. So, I mean, su super defending against uh, Stark's challenges, but that's now going to end on 8-7 unless he has something. I don't think he does. One of the cards is Mircella. Even if he has... I never bet and put Cersei in, it's not amazing, so... Nothing to be done this round, I think. Stark is uh, doing alright. Still has uh, an Arbon and has the infinite, st infinite stand, repeatable stand, so... Is it Stark's turn now to do a Winter Festival? Got close to winning. Whatever happens, I think this game will finish quite soon. Yeah. I mean, the fact that it's not like 12 for uh, Lenny Crossing and it's 10 for a Stark is a little problematic. Yeah, defending a lot in crossing, that's um, unusual, so. Does he have a reset that helps him? I mean, Mad King still is not the worst reset, you know, against this, because... Um, oh, point You end. keep... That was the anti Morghulis plan, well... Wouldn't have mattered now because dupes are gone. Yeah, but some power is gonna go away as well, so... Yeah, but now it's uh, Tywin, Jamie, and, well... Why is the b the Hound in play? <laughs> yeah. That's not good. Ah, Tywin gets the dupe after pointy end, good for him. Is it going to be Braun? Is Mircella going to be marshaled? Given that you have three that are pretty good together, potentially, I don't think you marshal additional ones. You do that after Madkin's command. Yeah. Keeps the five gold. Well, Hound can... Uh, I think Hound stays because he can come uh, again with the five gold. Probably now you have a dupe for Tywin, so... Bronze, but not that key. And on the other side, we already have, I mean, four characters that really need to stay, so... Yeah, that's why I say, I think um, Stark really hates Mad King's command, so that's a good, a good reset. Could try to trigger Wyman to see if you get a dupe, but that, if you don't have one in hand now, uh, the chances that you draw something perfect are not so good. Septum <laughs> ah, Let me see if I can get the chat on screen in the meantime. Ah, how do you do this? I think you can just copy from the other scene. Oop, okay, that, that didn't go too well. <laughs> no, that did not. <laughs> you have now eight regions of us. I know, I know. There we go. Okay. 
Let me see if I can paste. Um, what? Someone say something and we'll see <laughs> if it appears. Oh, there you go. It works. It works for the high price of uh, <laughs> ruining the middle of the video with those banners. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is tricky. Tricky to choose from ethics command. Uh, but looks like he still might be thinking about um, actually doing something in marshalling before then. I mean, there could be a character that's potentially better than uh, one that would stay now yeah i mean i think best you can get is probably mira but that would have happened already i think it does it is a I mean, probably this or first noise there is a that really hurts all the time if you have crone, it's... Yeah. It's a bit easier. Has met King's Command and never bad. No time limit, so he can think as long as he likes, in theory. Yeah, I don't know how it works out for them with time zones. It's midnight in China. Yeah. Bounce in hound. One, one hound is in the discard pile. And one is in play, so... So never bet. Uh, put hound on the bottom and then never bet to put hound in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, anything that goes to the bottom here, if you specifically have never bet. Oh, there we go, something's coming. Ah, okay. Well, if he has a dupe for him, then why not? Uh, I think Daisy also will stay along with Rob, maybe, right? Or do you want to keep an intrigue icon? If he keeps it up, he keeps all 8 power. And if they can just do a challenge together, they have 4 renown basically. Between the three of them. Yeah, Hound doesn't get shuffled in Mad King's Command. No, go the to the bottom, yeah. Have to yeah. be a little careful about the order though, because uh, if you're putting. Well, actually, he has 3 cards in hand and. Uh, there is a card in Shadow in now. So. Ooh! Garden Shadows. Well, if it's a small folk mob, uh, the problem is that you're not gonna sack anything that's no, left in play. Time. Mira is three. So maybe he was thinking about a uh, three, I mean two. Maybe he was thinking whether he could just uh, do Mira and then he would have the gold, but he would probably then lose Eddie because he he could only keep two cards in hand. Jamie, Tywin and the Hound is actually kept in play. Looks like he has no magic to do with the Hound, or if he has, I never bet. He uh, was hoping to hit... Uh, well, I mean, they go to the bottom now, so you can hit Bronn. If the chances of hitting Cersei have gone down by playing Mad King's Command, so... You know, you can sort you can sort your cards uh, on the bottom however you like. The opponent doesn't know how you sorted them, mm -hmm. so uh, Super Duck now doesn't quite know. If, for instance, if more cards went to the bottom, wouldn't quite know 
uh, which they were, but uh, now you do know because there's on, there was only three. Well, pointy end has uh, taken care of some of the power. Lenny is doing good in the sense that has a character that can come in and out, but um, <laughs> Star can just do a big power challenge, and it's not fun, right? You right now, time is really big. You can defend it if you pass here, by the way. Mm -hmm. But then also probably the armory will stand if it's fully defended and Eddie will do a challenge and Stark is still yeah, well no ahead. And this he, round. Yeah, Lenny <laughs> hasn't make any hasn't made any progress, but I think um there has to be something to jump in. Filthy kept as well. Edert was not loyal. Of course, um most likely it's not going to be spent because this type of deck doesn't play events that much, but in theory winter is coming, but that, you have one gold anyway. And you're not going to play the North Remembers on this board because Western and Fiefdom will go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, do you think Super Duck plays um, uh, Hands Judgment in this deck? Does Stark ever play that with Bran available? I mean, I think the main Stark field deck that I always think of is uh, the Argento version, and Argento never plays events, so <laughs> <laughs> not in Stark. He plays fresh recruits. Yes, not in Stark though, never plays events. <laughs> but I think. Uh, Nightmares are common for generally for Filthy, I think. Not for a gentle, but I think that could be in there. Probably not hand judgment, like you said, so let's see. Well, we are uh, either in the action window or uh, at the point of declaring challenges. But you'd probably need to start with Jamie this time. But that and does so have something to jump have, in. If you have never bet, there's a, there are now four, uh, three cards on the bottom that are for sure not a good target. Yeah, I mean, you can put Braun in and bestow him so much that he has a thousand strength. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's not great, right, for what you want with never bet. No, it's not great. So if you want to, the Hound to go back to hand, you need to probably win the military challenge. I mean, you can win the power with uh, 17, then he goes back. If he goes in the military with Jamie, they have 11, all three would need to defend, and then... I mean, right now, you win power and military. How do you win military? No, I mean... um. You do on Lenny because uh, Francisco says you don't win any challenges except in trade. Uh, he already passed his challenges, so we're just looking on defense, what he wins. Yeah, he can defend them, uh, but then, as I said, he's not advanced even a little bit, trying to get closer to victory. Because mm. he's thinking, okay, I can do my challenges, but Stark's getting to 13 then, and yeah, that's not fun. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. I mean, Stark can still get close because uh, you can't uh, defend everything here and the armor is still there, so need to treachery that. Just a sec. Yeah, I mean... Do you put everyone in the power challenge and then just do military with AD if they defend? No, you don't because Hound jumps back and defends that as well. It's super dark also going to pass.
if he does military with everyone that's 14 2 would need to defend for Lenny to stop it getting renowned in, on defense but then you stand AD with the armory and the hound there is not um, strong enough to beat him so Hmm. What? I mean, he can pass and uh, gamble that he's going to remarshal better than uh, Rupert does. He can do... Um potentially power with um, 11 then both have to block and then if both block is then one and two military yeah i was just saying that that doesn't quite work because hound comes back to defend military with jamie and defend everything i think you have to start oh, yeah, okay. you have to start power with everyone uh oh, sorry military with everyone and uh, then whatever uh, Tywin has to need to, to successfully defend and then AD is 6 against uh, the Hound 6 eh. ok it doesn't go with everyone but uh, it's the same thing you have to defend with 2 unless something else happens like a burned man or something and that solves uh, actually Lannister's problems If you want to defend power, you have to leave this, but it's uh, giving. I mean, Jamie can defend, it's giving a lot of power away. Maybe he has nightmares for Tywin. If Jamie and Tywin defend together. If you defend with Jamie, well, I guess it's to must 11. Safe. More safe to defend with Han than Han comes back. Yeah, but Jamie can do anything on the power challenge, so. Times uh, hounds already here. I mean, it's not getting started either, so doesn't mm. specifically need to be replayed unless we're thinking about Morgulising again. At which point, of course, Stark is now duped well enough to um, discourage mm -hmm. that. Or is going to grab renown on defense himself. Unless there's nightmares. Oh no, there's no nightmares. No. Well, that was burn man. Uh, interesting. Could have won with, uh, oh no, you spend no, the time in gold if you... Two for yeah. two basically, yeah. So now he puts it in. It's not the worst thing, he's got some power. But from 6 to, to 15, with just what's in play right now. It's not going to happen, but if in, we imagine Cersei Missella and Casterly Rock, then <laughs> that can go. The problem is that uh, with Stark on 12, you can't do uh, the pre-crossing challenges. That's the thing, because they win on the first one just by defending and that's it. Point the end from this side would be <laughs> good as well. Uh, yeah, but um, I think what Francisco is saying uh, is kind of valid because I start filthy a lot of the times, plays very slow and defensively, at least with um, how I see it played. 
but it um, can be dangerous to go that round against crossing. Have to push advantage, maybe. By the way, Stark Fifty won the recent uh, French Nationals, and if it mm -hmm. wins here as well, then maybe we should consider maybe nerfing Stark a little bit again. But I don't know. Superdog also won two games with uh, Knights Watch Long Voyage before. <laughs> A bunch of them with uh, Martel crossing, so uh, no Mart Martel cohort, so I don't know. <laughs> and late at the gates into forced march, that's why the Birdman is here. Well, that uh, is um, how the worst much are you willing to trade, and how big of a gamble it is that Rob will stand everyone, and uh, it's just game if that happens. I mean, now there's no cat to cancel out treachery so if you have treachery you can kneel do you try 3 for 3? Oof, I don't know if you try 2 for 2 it's uh, I mean Rob and Eddie are still there yeah Eddie will be standing probably does he want <laughs> yeah I figured he can't really win so he's letting Super Dog go first yeah, but um, I don't know. Lannister is not so strong with um, with power icons. I think that might just be game. Oh, trading three for three, and then Tywin will have. If you don't spend the gold, will have a lot of strength. Interesting. I don't know. Um, that could backfire because now it is your three. And there's a huge chance that there's uh, some stand available. Yeah. I don't know. Huge chance. There's a chance, right? Okay, Wyman has gone. There's something in shadows. It could be Mira or it could be small folk mob, right? Could also just be another uh, Wyman, so. Another Wyman in shadows. <laughs> yeah, in shadows, of course. Where else? Where else could another Wyman be then in shadows? Well, takes another old gate and what's coming, let's see. Yeah, so if there is a mob, it will uh, work for sure. Well, assuming there's another character. And milk on Tywin. Don't want to sack uh, Eddie to stand everyone. There we are. Well, I mean, you can sack Kate to stand everyone if you would like to. Sure. Mm, milk on Tywin, very good. That was supposed to be big defense. And it's supposed yeah, and to be a big econ. Honestly, I, you couldn't even be in trouble because um, there's just uh, right now unopposed power. Okay, dupes are useless. Needs proper cards. Mircella still there for sure. Okay, Cersei comes. Well, Mircella could have come with her if there was no milk on Tywin. Mm -hmm. That was a good card there. Now, does Stark have any more tricks? Or is Stark just going to do challenges with what's on the board? I mean, it will force defenders for sure, because Anapost just wins the game, so... Worst case, it forces I mean, Anapost military is there still. Yeah. What? How do you handle How this? How about unopposed military with Arya, then you initiate intrigue with Caitlyn, you sack Arya, stand everything. <laughs> with small folk mob. <laughs> if there is, let's assume there isn't any trick like that. Do you just do intrigue first to see what's in hand? Okay, do military first. I mean, intrigue, you don't care. Yes, I mean, you want to get rid of the jump events or whatever there is that could be ambushed or come into play somehow. I think Mircella should be one of the cards still. There's unopposed military. So case. either this is the small folk mob plan or just going to do two challenges. I mean, this is an unopposed that wins for sure. I mean, for sure. Probably. And then you do a challenge with Caitlyn, which needs one of the other ones. Maybe. Or maybe you just leave to defend Cersei's, um, Cersei's challenge. I don't know how much you care about that. 
you don't. Is it small folk mob play? <laughs> well, if it is, it's it's gotta be game, I think. Yeah. You could nightmares uh, daisy later. Would that help? Not really. Nah. I mean, if Caitlyn is sacked for small fo small folk mob, then you even get stared back with Arya. But uh, there could be treachery, right? If Caitlyn is sacked. No, but why would you sack Caitlyn? Yeah, that's what you suggested. <laughs> no, I suggested sack Arya when Caitlyn is in the challenge. Well, in any case, he's probably going to wait to see what defenders are declared. In theory, you could leave it unopposed. I think you should leave it unopposed and then do your challenges back, assuming there is no... Um... Okay. So, never mind, this was available and so there, was, okay. the, there is no counterplay to this. There would have been if K he didn't uh, also magically have another Caitlyn and a Mirk. But, um, yeah. Yeah, that's... Um... That's just the stark luck for you. I don't know if... Um... Okay, didn't do anything, so... Yeah, I mean, he did have a really good start, having a Viamond and Rob, basically round two, for single Mad Kings. Yeah, uh, it's true what Rupert is saying, not um, not all of the yeah. Lenny crossing annoying rush cards were available, although if you do start with uh, uh, Mircella, Jamie and the, ha uh, the Hound, um, Tywin in play, it's not bad, usually, against yeah, the I mean, less resilient Yeah, I mean, if and Castle Rock are there from the beginning, that's... Um... You can attack more. I think he... I mean, Stark is so, so rushy as well. You can't... He tried to defend when there wasn't a chance. I wonder if he could have attacked and then tried to, to have a big initiative plot. I mean, he played Forced March here and tried to close, but I don't think you can because Stark gets to 10+, plus and uh, like I said... Just means on defense, on the one challenge where you kind of have to throw it away in the crossing, so it doesn't work for, for you that well. So, yeah. That's what we had. That's the summer edition. And uh, I think it's the first for Super, super Duck. I can browse through his profile a little bit, but I think he is specifically Champions of Astros, he hasn't won yet. Oh really? That's no, you on a bunch. <laughs> well, let's make that your job to uh, click through his profile and check, but uh, I don't think he did. Okay, let's see. Meanwhile. Uh, no? Let's see. Just wait to see him crowned. <laughs> this might take a while to be updated. So, uh, next edition, the fall edition or autumn edition, whatever it's going to be called, is uh, coming up. Uh, registration is open. I think will be open for another week. Shall I just double check that this so that I don't mislead you? I think um, Mark is close to that. What don't you know? I don't know if there's any other uh, names for Champions of Vesteros. I mean, sometimes it's uh, abbreviated, but it looks like you're correct, so it's uh, the first time for him to win. Mm -hmm. and, Ooh, um, actually, uh, yeah. October 3rd, uh, 21st, so actually there's three more weeks, uh, two, uh, two and a half to register, okay. So uh, already I see some players have registered, uh, a lot of them actually, let's see, um, a, a, a quick count of that. Yeah, quite a few have actually. So uh, looking to match the number, I think we had um, uh, this season we had 
78, uh, which uh, went down a little bit from the previous one. I think summer is uh, usually can be the weakest one, so uh, hoping for bigger numbers. Let's push that number to 100 now. See, I think people are eager to play mm -hmm. uh, after uh, the eight regions finished and uh, Stalek uh, coming up. So we need all the games you can get, and we also have. Uh, Friendly Open uh, starting again, probably uh, on the weekends. And uh, yeah, next uh, big team event is going to be the Battle for the Seven Kingdoms again. There's also already been some talk today on that uh, Discord server. Mm, not starting and quite yet, actually. But yeah, we'll be uh, probably trying to defend our title in that one. So I will put uh, links to. Um, uh, events where you can register, so link to the registration for the fall edition anyway, and friendly opens will be announced uh, whenever they come, and Stalik, of course, anyone who hasn't registered yet should try to make it, it's the best tournament in the world, and play it, of course, in person. So, um, mm -hmm. I think that's it, Let me, let's see if I can uh, do the banners correctly. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, actually, has the score been updated? No. I'll let someone else that, but Super Duck is our champion. And uh, there we are. So thank you all for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.